Hi and welcome to this month's editorial video where we're focusing on the single guest profile and the importance of consolidating the guest data into one location. If you haven't already read it yet, make sure to check out Jamie McBride's article from Foresight for this editorial. It's a good read and it covers some interesting elements. The hotel technology landscape is going through a digital transformation on, on a number of levels. Perhaps one of the most important ones is ensuring that guest profiles are consolidated and centralised. One of the biggest challenges when it comes to solving this issue is currently, for most organisations anyway, the guest data and profiles are scattered in multiple data silos and locations. A key goal of any digital transformation should be enhancing the guest experience, guest interactions and converting these guests into returning visitors, which of course only increases the lifetime value of those guests. How often have you been asked as a return guest to a hotel if you've actually stayed with them before? This question is now almost a default welcoming question, but it is a question that really should not be asked at all anymore. So why is it still being asked? Admittedly, it is not easy for hotels or travel companies to manage guest data. The key hurdles seem to always be around collecting the guest's data and creating that unique identifier for each guest. Nick Price is doing some exciting work on self-sovereign identity and decentralized digital IDs with the Decentralized Identity Foundation. And there are videos from the Hospitality and Travel Special Interest Group that are well worth watching. And we'll put the links to those in the description below. In an increasingly competitive landscape, personalized actions make all the difference between an ordinary stay and a truly exceptional one. Many hotels today are still using systems that, whilst powerful, really do fail to share the data with each other. So this makes it very difficult to aggregate that data and then gain insights either on a single guest or the guest database as a whole. Guest data captured and stored from previous visits is data that is most likely stored in various different silos, typically in these different closed proprietary older systems. So this in turn makes it very hard to consolidate that data into a central location that can then be shared across all the other operating systems. Those that do manage to consolidate the data tend to let it then sit in a single database and think that that's enough. Yet it still needs work because it is typically then in different formats and of various different qualities. And it often contains duplicates and therefore inaccuracies. So this tends to make the data pretty much unusable. And the way to solve this is by hotels storing their data centrally in one system. So for example, a CRM. This of course also helps ensure GDPR compliance by having this data stored in one system. The guest profile can easily be amended, exported for the guest if requested, or even deleted with one click. Various service points need consideration in the hotel environment, such as the property management system, point of sale, email marketing, analytics and online reputation management. Data sitting in these different silos is typically fragmented and generally unmanageable. These multiple touch points make it challenging to then collect that data and use it and make it difficult to establish that, that single identifier for each guest. Again, just coming back to Nick's current work on this, the videos explain the reasons for the identifier for each guest. So you've got your data centrally stored. Good start. Now it needs to be reviewed from the data points where it actually came from. Property management system, point of sale, email marketing, etc. And duplicates need to be identified and correctly merged in order to create that single profile for every guest. Once processed, the data can then be pushed back to the property management system or point of sale that are obviously cloud-based and also support open API connectivity whilst being centrally stored then in the CRM. So this ensures the data stays current across all supporting systems. The outcome is of course very positive, one single source of truth for guest data supporting greater personalized sales and marketing, efficient operations and of course the ability to make stronger strategic business decisions. There are technology platforms that specialize in integrating with multiple systems that are available today and they can manage all data from bookings, point of sale, property management to loyalty, bringing that all together into a single cloud-based platform that can then be easily accessed and managed. And hotels can also add public social media data, 
online review data and other sources of guest information like service requests and post day feedback. So the reality of a single guest profile is achievable. It's just going to take a little bit of work to get there. But it would be a time and financial investment that would certainly make then a lot of sense and a big difference to a hotel's business. So I want to bring in now Anthony Hunt from Shiji and get his perspective on this issue. I think for the last couple of decades, uh, we've all been striving on the holy grail to a single global guest profile. Um, I guess with the intent of providing better service, uh, providing better service because we know more about the guest uh, in question. Um, so recently, in the last six years, I've uh, been working on a project with Shiji, which takes that single global profile and turns it into something of a reality. Um, and some of the dimensions uh, in creating this enterprise aware profile was to make sure, number one, we could secure it uh, add consent management uh, and present the profile when relevant in, in the right geographic uh, jurisdiction. So also observing local laws using using profile vaults. So this type of new technology, I guess, became available with with, with cloud technology, and we uh, have a, a great partnership uh, with AWS, who allow us to be wherever the customer is and to provide that point of, of uh, high-speed connectivity. Behind the framework of, of the profile, uh, we, we have a lot of um, need to have appropriate entities to store the guest values, um, to enable recognition from the point of a PMS, a POS, a concept provider uh, for spa or golf, or indeed for reputation management. Um, having those points, having those entity definitions and putting business intelligence behind it. So something like a guest preference, uh, a view that is global and also local, importance that has weight, uh, the ability to identify mandatory needs in terms of allergies, and then to create workflow or actions behind an individual preference. I think this is something that makes the entity serve the need of the guest uh, through through workflow automation. And the same would come from the inbound systems, um, making the profile truly open in terms of uh, API and webhook availability so that we can respond, react, uh, and vice versa in real time to any requests coming in from the corporation subsystems, whatever, whatever they may be. So I think these are all important attributes I would look for in terms of system selection uh, does it does it look after me does it secure me is it available where i want it to be and does it make a difference to my guest journey and experience um, once we have that profile we should go crazy mad to look after it in terms of uh, match and merge capability so at all points of guest interaction to make sure we run the algorithm in the background and do auto matching or stage it if we're unable to match it but we have for some reason uh, the idea that it is pretty close to a match and we put it into one little place for somebody to come and take care of. And that's not only at the point of reservation, whether it's made in-house, whether it's coming from an OTA, but all the way through to the check-in journey. I think these elements uh, are positive uh, angles of that single global profile. I've had the privilege of traveling again for the last eight weeks and using my mobile app, uh, to interact with uh, hotels and, and, and airlines alike, uh, and uh, it's really good being back on the road. I think the confidence I have in, in, in the mobile device, and whilst it's anchored to the loyalty membership system, you know, so a, a slice of what we're talking about today, um, it does give me uh, belief that I can tailor my experience uh, as far as the number of touch points that they offer me from the booking, uh, the, the pre-stay, the check-in, um, view, view folio and departure. Um, I think if, uh, from a Shiji point of view, all of these APIs are, are available for consumption for anybody to create that digital journey, um, the, the mobile device is a way that I feel confident 
and I see a lot of other guests around me, whether they're in the hotel or on the airplane, uh, using using the tool, using using that device confidently. And the ability to add more interactions, I guess it's only limited by the creativity of the, the app developers. Um, so it's it's those are the points that we would do normally from uh, from emails uh, such as the pre stay the post day survey etc. Um, but you know, there are, there are a lot more. I would happily, uh, and in fact, actually, just in in Dubai last week, I was ordering uh, from a QR code uh, a room service menu, um, not in my room, but somewhere downstairs outside. But that type of thing, uh, we've we've become adjusted to that. Um, so yeah. I think um, other industries, fintech in particular, have, have made the mobile device a very comfortable and confident way to interact uh, with external systems, uh, especially where the data is personal. Yeah, th th this question about my interaction or, or, or consumer's interaction uh, is driven, I think, by the stay. Why, why am I going there? Is it, is it a business day? It's a leisure day. Is it an experience? Is it is it an anniversary? And is it uh, some some sort of special event? And these input factors will change the way that I interact uh, in that journey and how far out I will begin the journey. Um, so, for a typical business stay, I would you know interact heavily um, with with a mobile device. I don't specifically have a need to talk to an individual uh, or, or to have um, a high-end check-in. Um, so as a provider, I think all paths should be available. Um, the simple digital path, um, very little friction or zero friction, all the way from booking through to arrival, including the opening of the door um, and, and my departure. So for a non-event stay, and this is this is perfect for those areas um, of lifestyle hotel that don't have a lot of human resources on the ground. I think the kiosk solution is very cost effective. So promote the mobile device, but have the kiosk in house as as a secondary fallback. More traditionally, though, if it was uh, an event of an anniversary, a birthday, or something of importance, and I was you know spending five hundred pounds or um, more even, <laughs> depending on the location. I think the traditional welcome, personalized experience with the various human touch points that you would get, say, from a peninsula uh, is hard to replace and hard to reinvent that digitally. Although they can unanchor themselves from the front desk these days and uh, enhance that experience as they walk with me from, from the limousine through the doors and straight up to the elevator. Um, so I think all, all three roads uh, are still valid, they're still good, and they're still purposeful. Um, the guest has the choice um, as to which road is right for this particular stay. So the birthday stay is going high end, the everyday stay is, is going full digital. Um, and that's what I think we have to be able to offer. All of the rich touch points that we've layered beyond the PMS into this, what is now becoming a customer data platform, all can add value. They can all tailor the experience at the injection point or the digestion point of that particular stay. Uh, and hopefully everybody will enjoy the stay experience however they consume it. It can't be emphasized enough that a hotel's technology solutions or stack needs to be based upon open API systems that allow for these various technologies to communicate and share their data. Whatever solutions hotels look for to consolidate their guest data, there needs to be some core functions provided. Open integration capabilities must be available and they need to comply with global uniform industry standards. And of course, don't forget the user experience. It plays a key role. So the design and the user friendliness for hotel staff and guests alike needs to be front of mind. As a business grows, so should its technology and the systems must offer scalability and future-proof security across all networks. They must deliver core hotel functionality for both small and large properties, be they chain or independence alike. 
Overall, the industry has been making progress, with the growing adoption of open APIs, cloud-based solutions, and further improvement in industry standards, the possibility of achieving such a reality does exist. Thanks for watching and for your continued support. Make sure to check out our previous editorials that cover the APIs and integrations and the hotel tech stack. These topics are closely related to this particular editorial and will add more context to the overarching issues of bringing it all together. Until next time, it's bye for now.